Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here with a review of another Mold King X6 quadcopter in a box. Uh, you might have seen my review of the the bigger version here. Uh, so now I don't know if this one is newer or, or if I just didn't see it before. Uh, but this one's a little bit smaller. It's basically a uh, Hubson X4 clone. Let's go ahead and take the package apart here. So this top part this is non-functional just the, the cover of the case uh, but the bottom here is your transmitter and there's your quadcopter so you know nice small little x4 clone style uh, I really like the look of it it's got a cool design I like the red white and blue color um, you know it's I think it's a x1 uh, version or x4 version 1 clone because it doesn't have uh, like the no rubber landing feet no LEDs uh, it just has the the front LED eyes and that's it. Um, the transmitter is you know a little clunky and, and big, but not as bad as the the bigger version. This one fits in your hands a little bit better, and the buttons are easier to reach. You've got flips and three rates, uh, so th this transmitter felt a little bit better than the other one. Uh, I didn't have any problems with this one not wanting the, the batteries to stay connected like I did with the other version. Um, and it does have, in the back here, there are two screws and this, this uh, compartment opens up and you can store within. It's got the instruction manual, which again is all in Chinese. Uh, though some people have been receiving English versions. Uh, so there is an English version of the manual on RC groups if you wanted to go check out the English version. Uh, I think I'll put a link to that in the video description. Uh, and it also comes with a set of spare props and a USB charging cable. And again, that all fits in the back here. But since the back only connects with screws, there's no like clip or anything, you can't really easily get in and out. I mean, who carries a screwdriver around with them to get to the charging cable and the props? So kind of weird and pointless to be able to store stuff in there when you can't easily get to it. Uh, but really it's all kind of a moot point because this thing doesn't even fly. Uh, now I only know about four people that have gotten this quad and three of the four people have the same issue as I do. And it, what it is, is it'll lift off perfectly straight but then all of a sudden, as it's flying, it starts to lean more and more forward to the point where I can give complete down input on the right stick or even full down trim, and it'll still fly forward. Uh, like there's, there's just something wrong with the accelerometer or the gyro. And um, since we have found an English version of the manual, we found that you can reset the, the accelerometers by pressing the rudder trim to the right and the elevator trim up, if you press those and hold them for like two or three seconds, the the quad will make an audio alert and I think the LEDs blink and that'll reset the accelerometer. And I've done that several times. I've tested it on the old version and it worked. I've done it on this several times and it does not fix my drifting issue. Uh, so I think there's just, I think the, the gyro is just foobard. I, I don't know, it's just, it's really weird. It it is impossible to fly and so I'll go show you that in the flight footage but I won't really be able to do much flying at all uh, maybe I'll be able to sneak in a flip before it takes off on its own but uh, very annoying and so I would not suggest buying this one because three out of four people had the same problem as me and it makes it completely unflyable so uh, let's go watch me crash it a bit alright this is the flight review of the Mold King X6 a small version uh, we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and start by resetting the accelerometer. So press right on the rudder and up on the elevator trims and hold them. It should beep and blink, I think. Alright. Okay, there we go. And it blinked. Okay, so it is reset. So let's see what happens. I'll go ahead and take off from the ground since it should go shooting towards the other wall there once it lifts off. And you'll see it lifts up straight just fine, but then it'll start flying forward on its own. Holding right, holding all the way back, holding back, holding back. It just takes off on its own. Oh my gosh, where'd it go? 
so I have no idea why it does that or what's happening. So let's try it again. Holding back, holding back, holding back, holding back. It just flies forward non-stop. And again, let's, here, let's uh, reset it down here. Oops, I think I did that wrong. All right, I think, okay. So now it's reset again, let's try it again. Forward, I'm holding back, holding back, holding back, holding back, holding back. Uh, I do not understand. Okay, let's uh, let's see if I can sneak in a flip real quick before it takes off on its own. Whoa! Oh my gosh. Well, it can take a beating, that's for sure. Let's, uh, let's try that again. Really nice flips. Holding all the way back, holding all the way back. Holy cow, that was... That was a massive crash. <laughs> yeah, it looks like uh, maybe the body snapped apart a little bit. Yep, no problem though, I think. And we'll call that a landing. <laughs> All right, well, as you can see, it looks like it flips good, but it just does not fly. It just goes forward on its own for some reason, and there is no stopping it. So. I just can't recommend this one because if you get that problem, it's just not flyable at all. Alright, well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, and I'll see you next time.